Got him. All right, let's get this thing down quick. Oh shit! No 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 no! Unbelievable. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are back at the base here after our first for foray into uh, the Pillars of Creation. So there's a couple things I want to do here at the base before uh, we take off and go back there. I, I did pick up three uh, flame altars that I had here in the Springlands that we no longer really needed. Uh, so I'm going to, you know, hoof it back uh, two Pillars of Creation. I'll do that off camera, except for that when we do go through here again, to the volcano i'll uh we'll, we'll take that side tunnel just to see where it goes and then once we get out um you know in there then i'll, I'll put down our first um flame altar and somewhere off in the distance when i was over there maybe around in here i'm thinking i did see um a spire but it was it was pretty far away and i didn't want to risk losing all of our stuff by dying uh, before we had a chance to get back home uh, but like I said, there's a few things we need to do here. So let's uh, let's turn in the quest to you. We got your masonry tools. You got me some masonry tools. Perfect. Let's place them nearby so I can get to work. Okay, so let's uh, grab these. And how big are we talking? Oh, those aren't that big. I think what we'll do is... Is there a front or a back? Can't really tell. So I think we'll just put those right here for now. Okay. And I guess we don't do anything ourselves, but what's new? Okay, we got this new extraordinary glider, but we're going to need alchemical base for that. Okay. Uh, we got a new kind of bed. The stone bed. Yeah, that sounds comfy. Um, some new tables, so it's stone. Yeah, so everything here is probably going to be stone. Uh, but they do provide more comfort. Go figure, right? Uh, stone benches, or a stone bench. Stone potty! That's awesome! Copper bathtub and a stone shower. Oh, <laughs> look at that! That's cool! Okay, we'll have to put that stuff up and then... A didn't we already have that chandelier? That's a new kind of chandelier. And it's plus four comfort instead of two. Candle holder. Some bronze stuff. Okay, that's neat. Uh stone doors. Like it. Windows. New kind of window. That's cool. And a stone fence. Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah, I can see where that's gonna come in handy. A water well. Oh, neat. We can make our own well now. Just need a wooden bucket. Okay. Um, so I think that's it for the carpenter. Oh, we also have a bow that I want to upgrade. A tanning station. Hear me, I need a tanning station to preserve fur. Perhaps someone in the Nomad Highlands could have one. Preparing fur and leather is far easier in those sun-bleached lands, without the blizzards I'm used to. Maybe hunters from the area would have a tanning station. Ask around for a lead. We shall do that. Okay, so we can now make the large backpack from her, but we're going to need three more pieces of leather. Uh, and the clean bandage, but we're going to need antiseptic for that. Um, we can now make bronze arrows. But we'll need feathers. And I have... I do actually have feathers. I just didn't put them in a pole, uh, a magic chest. We've already known those special arrows. A new hunter set. Oh, nice. Look at this. Okay, but we're going to need leather and mint mushroom meat. And fossilized bone. Those are the three things that I don't currently have. And there's also then the sharpshooter set, which also needs um, ingredients that we don't currently have. Straw. That's new. Okay, so I'll have to look at those and see which one, uh, which ones are, or which one I would prefer. Catch you later. 
catch you later. Okay, let's go see what you got going on. A black World cauldron. An alchemist is nothing without his cauldron. Mine erupted into flames long ago, but our dear fan, uh, or Emily Frey has filled me with hope. She tells stories of Ikora, a remarkable mage from the Nomad Highlands. She must have fallen to time, but we could use her black cauldron to make an alchemy station. Emily Frey can tell you more. Okay. Uh, anything new you can do? Greater mana potions, survival flask. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't think we were... This is what I want to be able to make. But that's going to require antiseptic. Yeah, stuff we don't currently have, okay? Eternal Fireball. And it looks like that's all that's new from the Alchemist. Felling Axes. Now we can make bronze tools. Fantastic. Um, okay, so yeah, we're just going to have to get bronze. Uh, which means probably means we need to find tin and then we just smelt... Uh, tin and bronze together to create the alloy. That's usually how that works. Uh, 32 damage versus 25. That'll be a very nice improvement. Okay, so we'll be working towards that. Um, One-handed weapon. A mace-like club. It looks like it's made out of stone. All right. Miscellaneous bronze barrel and bronze dishes and cups and stuff. Masonry tools. Yes, yeah, so we can... It, it, you can remake all that stuff in case you want to have like multiple bases. Um, that's why they have recipes to make the I stuff that we found. Time. Let's talk to Emily. Almanac for crops. Hmm? Flameborn, the climate here is still new to me. Kendall Waste Dunes were once my home. I wonder what could bloom here. Well, an almanac of plants and seedlings, we could grow fantastic new crops. I left mine at a camp as my caravan fled from danger. Could you return it, please? Okay, yeah, we can do that. About Ikora. Ikora, yes, I know her. Reserved. Said other people drained her. Lonely, I think, but masterful at brewing potions. She had her shop in Rattlebleak. I'd love to marvel at her work. She could whip up any potion like it's nothing. All right, Rattlebleak. All right, now we have some new food here we can make. Chicken soup. Four constitution and one dexterity. Oh, that is, that's an archer's dish, but we're going to need this almanac of plants and seeds. And we're going to need bell pepper. Energy sugar, of course, sugar cane. I did find some sugar cane um, right after I, I uh, stopped the last episode, but I only found like one thing of it. So we'll be on the lookout for that. Mushroom omelet. Okay, so that's what the eggs are used for. And just straight up boiled eggs. 3% stamina recharge, health regeneration, and mana recharge. Pretty good. Kind of like jack of all trades food there. Love it. Oh, now we can make an oven. Look at that. We can do this right now. This significant upgrade to the fireplace offers new food options that can be cooked passively. Yeah, I've got tons of brick. I just don't have it in a pole chest. Let's grab a stack of brick. Uh, oh, shoot. No, we can't. We got to get the almanac thing first. Okay. Never mind. All right, now let's go back to you for a minute. And I want to go to Enhance Equipment. And let's enhance the Shadow Bane. It bleeds, we can okay, 22, 23. Uh, this is Stamina Leech and Shroud Magic Damage. This increases critical hit chance and gives us another point of stamina. Hmm. I mean, they're... This is just barely the better bow. So, yeah, we'll take it. And then what we'll do is we'll leave... We'll have keep this as our backup. And this one will melt down. Okay. Um... All right. I think... I think that's it for what we want to do here at the house for now. So, like I said... What? You got more stuff? Hunter from the Nomad Highlands. Oh. Funny, do you ask me? My Auntie Morwenna knew this fearsome hunter, big as a mountain. Lupa. She'd wrestle Vuka, tame drakes, and drink. Actually, she clogged my other aunt, Dwin the Elder, in a drunken... Oh, clogged. Uh, in a drunken stupor once. Ha <laughs> ha. They took her to Raven's Keep for that. As far as I know, she didn't see the light of day again. 
Okay, so we got to find his aunt. I think we need to prioritize definitely finding the um, the tannery because we need leather for backpack, for new armor, for the glider, and lots of stuff. But we're going to need all of it eventually. So, All right, so here's the deal. I'm going to, um, like I said, hoof it back over here, get back into the Pillars of Creation area, and set down a flame altar, and then when uh, we're ready to continue questing i'll bring you guys back then i'm gonna check out that that side tunnel that we didn't go to on the way if it and if it, it turns out not being anything you know noteworthy i won't uh, show it on camera if it does turn out to be something noteworthy then i will okay so i'll see you guys in a bit all right guys um i'm back here at pike meads reach and all those places and uh, there's just a couple of of uh, small quests and chests that i want to clear up here before we move on um, because if I wait and do it later, then whatever we find is probably not going to be worth anything at all to us. Whereas if we get it right now, it might still be useful. Of course, we can always, you know, turn things into uh, runes, too, if we need to. All right, so there's supposed to be something about a scattered legacy around here. All right, maybe what we need is up in this tower. Okay, there is something up there. Um, oh, here we go. Siege report day three. Status. Horrendous. Impacts today 17. And the section below is has hastily scribbled. It's gone. Torn apart like cotton. Their catapults. Pure devilry. Blighted fire. Bright blue and hazy. Rotting stench. Numbers unknown. Too many. Led by Vorgoth. He's coming. Heavy boots. Smashed Caden's skull. Lost below. Sludge and mud. All red. A wave of steel. Flooding towards Market Square. My brother is below yelling. No way down. Everything is loud. The screams. I cannot bear this. Dear lords. Please, I'm just a squire. Please don't crush my head. Caden, I'm so sorry. That sounds pretty morbid. Guard of the North Boots. Health regeneration and stamina regeneration, but less time in the shroud. That not that what I have on for my gloves? Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's... Uh, let's wear those. And, okay, so that took care of that little quest there that we were supposed to do. I just don't know how I'm supposed to get down into this next room because there's something down there. There we go. Okay. City wall blocks. The old walls were impenetrable in Pike Mead's time. Now they crumble. Every watch, I see the smoke come closer. The mistral waits, heavy with a pungent sweetness. Rotten decay. They'll tear through the outer wall soon enough. Even the, the mining rift due east cannot yield enough stone to restore the imperial aegis before the brewing siege. Mining rift due east. Did that put a new thingy on our map? Mortification. Yeah, that's probably going to be in Pillars of Creation, though. All right, so now we have um, Gormander's Imperial Gardens, A Scattered Legacy, and Cavern of Curiosities. Let's go knock those out real quick. All right, we're at this uh, Scattered Legacy. Uh, kill that guy. Getting around in this place is kind of a pain in the ass. Especially uh, at nighttime. Should be right here. Or it could be below us. Don't hit the exploding thing. 
Is this it here? Guard of the North Pants. Cool. We'll look at those in a second. Uh, no, we're a little further away. We're locked out. Bastards closed the gates to the inner city. Just left us poor to rot, to rot and die. It won't help. Vorgoth's army will get him. I hope they burn. Let Gormander taste copper and steel. I don't go down easy. I'm hidden. But I still have that blast of sickness from last winter. If my body fails now, if I sneeze, if I yap, with the Northling sauntering around outside, these sewers will be my tomb. I'm shivering. It's not my cold flashes. Something's off. There's, there's wind in here. No, there's breathing in here and sharp like a blade. Can't see where or what. It's in me, in my throat, so cold. It's acid. It's worse, worse than the sewer. Help. It feels like winter again. How dire is that? All right. So we've got this cavern curiosities and Gormander's Imperial something or others. Um... So let's go back this way and let's put, see this gives us plus eight stamina, but 30 seconds less than the shroud. What are we wearing now? Plus two stamina regeneration. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with we'll go with the new pants for now. Oh shit! Now now there's a new one. I'm trying to finish these up. <laughs> it's probably just a continuing story about how all the bad guys took over this place. Well, all right. Let's um. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get back to Gormander's Imperial Gardens because that's a chest. Would seem to indicate that it's in this house here. Well, okay, maybe more this way. Location below. Uh oh. Yeah. Gormander watches over us. King Gormander, son of glorious Pike Mead, grand patron of the Revelwood and Springlands, watches over us all. His vigilant gaze. Unites us as one, shields us from calamity, and ushers us into a new age of shroudness. There's Gormander right there. Um, I thought he was a bad guy. Maybe he's the king and then he turned into a bad guy. The Pike Weekly. Nothing grand about Gormander. Alright, just pause the screen if you want to read that. I kind of don't feel like reading that right now. <laughs> uh, okay, so it says location below. I'm going to say it's quite apparent that there is nothing buried underneath this statue. Because it implies that it's buried, A, and B. Ah, there it is. I just had to dig a little bit further back. Oh my goodness, okay. There we go, Twin Soul Mace. Um, is that... Okay, we already have a Twin Soul Mace. So I think it's exactly the same thing. This one's just the upgraded version. Okay, well, we got some nice... um. Uh, runes for our effort there. <laughs> That's funny, man. I just had to dig back just a tiny bit more. See, I would assume it would have been under the statue, but so much for assuming things, right? Okay, so we still have um, we still have the scattered legacy, and we still have this uh, this thingy here, cavern thingamadoodle. So let's go see um, if we can. Figure out what's going on with the scattered legacy thing. It's just right over here. We returned to Earth today. Never thought I'd see a war, nigh a live invasion, in the last of my tired days. I've buried so many. I confess the comforts this comforts me. Guiding my people or sorry, guarding people on their final voyage. So many last goodbyes. Today comes mine. The Northern Army has passed the gates. We can't seek respite in the castle. Gormander locked all doors, lowered all gates. It will not stop the horde. They will find their way. Ancients preserve us. The shroud is seeping inside. Something drips above. If anyone finds us, if anyone is left, I want to be buried next to my wife and son under the old oak. Leave the headstone blank. I have nothing left to say. Okay. What do we got in here? 
Guard of the North uh, chest plate. Nice. So I think this is... There we go. We just got an achievement. Pieces of the past. Find all the forgotten pieces. So I think that's what we were supposed to do. So this gives 160 health. But again, reduces our time in the shroud some more. That's pretty cool though. Um, I don't think... So we have everything on except for the helmet. But it suggested that I had found all the pieces, so I wonder if the helmet's back at the base. Take that mana potion there. Alright, I think we have finally done all of the quests here in um, the Imperial Town place, the Pike, all those places. Uh, so we just have this Cavern of Curiosities to do. How to do that is another matter, though. There is a bridge over that way. Okay. Oh, we got a fell Thunderbrute. Wand level 32, that's 34. However, this does have three upgrades. This only has two. Um, that has fire, but this has fire or ice and shock. So, yeah, let's just salvage it. I know you can keep two wands for different resistance types, but a wand, the wand is not our main weapon, so I don't really want to take up an inventory slot for that. Go down here. What the frick? I thought you were dead already. Why are you not dying? I don't understand. Is it bugged? I think it's bugged. Damn it, Jim. I don't have any more light flasks left either. I really need to go home, but we're so damn close to this spot. Executioner's Axe. I don't have... Skimmer's Cove is what this place is called. Oh, that was it. Oh, okay. Um, let's get rid of. Can we eat that? Yeah, let's just eat that. Okay, that's it. Oh man, I just wanted to, like I said, I wanted to finish up all of these these quests. I mean, I know there's there's more stuff way over here, too, but I have a feeling like this stuff's all probably going to be lower level, but I don't know. But, yeah. I just kind of wanted to I don't know. Should we go do this stuff, too, and just get it off the list? Uh, because here's the thing. If we don't do these now and we end up doing them later, whatever rewards they give us are going to be too low f for us to matter. Or, you know, the other thing I could do is just forget about it and maybe hit that stuff on a new playthrough. Yeah, let's do that. Because I really want to... Um, uh, that's like a big wall there. I really want to get going into in the, the Pillars of Creation. around this way out of the shroud okay let's go home
All right, guys, um, I've decided that this set, um, let's go here. Uh, what's it called? Guard of the North set is actually overall better than my marksman set. Uh, there's a few trade-offs, but with this set, I have, um, I have like 450 health and I actually have more ranged damage and more critical chance. I have a little bit less ambush and backstab damage than the marksman set, but I think that's, you know, a pretty good trade-off overall. So I'm actually going to start using this armor for now. Plus it's really cool looking too. Um, so yeah. Uh, and I'm glad, you know, that we went back to Pike, Pike Mead's Reach to get, get this set because it was definitely worth doing, I think. Um, all right, so let's put this stuff back in here. And I think we're ready to uh, head on over to the Pillars of Creation and start doing some questing there. Um, I have, I picked up, I think I, I may have already told you this, I don't remember, but I picked up three of the flame altars that I had lying around here in um, uh, in the Springlands, so that way we'll be able to put you know put those there. So what I'm going to do is walk myself back to um, here, you know where we entered through. No wait, where did we get in here? Yeah, through through this way. No. Uh, this is where we can, yeah, the gate to pillars to creation. So I'm going to walk myself back to there. We'll, we'll teleport here and I'm going to go check out that one tunnel that we missed. If it's significant, I'll bring you guys back at that point. If it isn't, then I'll meet you on the other side. Once we get into the actual pillars of creation, where we'll set our flame altar down and then go from there. Okay, so this looks like a lower passage. Okay, that goes down into the shroud. So this, yeah, this looks like it's just another way to get here. I'm just kind of curious for future reference. Um, actually, hold on. Let's get back out of the shroud for a second. Alright, I want to take... Uh, let's take one of these. Okay. That's the bad thing about this armor, is it pretty significantly reduces your shroud time, but we can counter that, you know, with... Uh, the flasks and stuff. Um, I need to do this too. Look at our health now. Nice. Put this armor on. So basically, the paths just go straight down here. I, what I, what I want to know is where it comes out on the other side back in the Springlands. Um, there's an elixir well that we never did either. Oh, see, there's a cave passage there. I'll bet you maybe that's where we would go. Um, there isn't a road going back up that way, though. Oh, it's right here. Okay. So, let's see where... Okay, I know where this is. The, <clears throat> excuse me. These are those two bluffs, which was the second location that I was thinking about maybe... Uh, building an, another base on. Um, 
And so it just comes out right out there. So for future reference, this is another route to get into Pillars of Creation. Um, why don't we, since we're here, why don't we go ahead and knock out this elixir well. Um, and maybe that'll get us another skill point. got here the strangest of visitors my son Jasper claims he was visited by a dark figure in the dark of night at first I think this for a child's dream but then not a fortnight later I myself suffered a similar manifestation it felt so real a cloaked figure hovering in infesting my mind with one word dig ominous all right let's go spawner over there and a chest here okay we gotta we managed to get a um, legendary uh, wand out of that deal um, oh no that's a another root staff undergrowth not as good as what we have let's salvage it okay we don't have a lot of time we gotta move here One way to take care of them. Okay, let's leave that stuff. Where's the... There's the shroud root. Okay. Okay, there's the boss. Oh, shit! I was going to kick me off into the... Muckety muck. Got him. All right, let's get this thing down quick. Oh shit! No 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 no! Unbelievable! <laughs> Unbelievable! Oh man! All right. At least we shouldn't have a bunch of enemies messing with us to get back to all that. And we've killed the boss. I just... I Didn't I do that another time when we were down in a shroud well? I just dro dropped right into a hole. Oh, man. Can't take me anywhere. Um, you know, I'm not thinking straight here. I, let's go back out and buff back up again. In particular, the shroud protection, because... We don't have a lot of it with this armor on. All right, we're good. Whew, okay. I think that's where I fell, yeah, where I fell down into. An ornate wood bow. Level 11, 14 power. Yeah, quite a bit lower than what we're currently sporting here. Did we get some points? Yes, we did. Okay. I want to get this emergency blink. And I want to get this blink attack. Um, so this will allow us to blink even when we're stunned. This will actually do damage if we blink into an enemy. So that's what we got. All right. Are there any chests around here. That's the way we came down. Didn't we already actually loot a chest, though? 
I don't remember. Oh, here's a here's a normal chest. I was thinking more though of the like, you know, the gold chests. Oh yeah, there's a silver chest over there. Okay. Wolf's Claw, 26 damage. Not even close to as good as what we have. All right. Let's get the muckety muck off these guys because we need that for crafting something. I can't remember. Oh, Shroud Flask. Yeah, we need it for Shroud Flask. And we should be able to just teleport back out of here. All right, I'm going to go back home. Repair, drop off. And I'll meet you back down where we first started going into the shroud from the side of the pillars creation. From the side of the pillars of creation. Learn how to talk, OG. All right, guys, we are uh, back where we started from at the bottom of the pillars of creation. Is this a thing? What is that? Oh, okay. That's the Rui boss stuff that we needed. We needed some of that for um, our next flame upgrade. Uh, here's a cave with a couple of uh, uh, the furry guys. Oh, you're a ranged guy with a sling. How about that? These guys drop chicken meat. Anything in here that we might be interested in? Don't really want bones or hide right now. Just because I have so much of it. We are going to need it to make leather though. Uh, the hide in particular, I'm sure. Alright, so that's where we came out from that other tunnel. And then... We just got a passageway here. And you know what? I think this actually will lead to the caravan. Yeah, southern caravan thingy. So let's go see what that's all about. We're kind of... I'm sure we're probably about out of time, though, in this episode. But I wanted to at least get back to here. Um, yeah, Back to pillars before we completely wrapped things up. What is this? There's some stones. There's a big old cave there. Some bird meat. Okay. Oh, another big hairball boss. All right. Um, we have elixir buff. We have fast flask of the fell. Yeah, let's kill this guy. He's like stuck. like a big battle axe. Jasm Jasmina's Apothesis. Is that a two-hander? It's not. Ooh. Okay. Um, I mean, it might approach this, but... See, we got cutting... Fire, fire, brutal, and health leech. Cutting health and health regeneration. This does cutting and fire. This does cutting period. Nah, I don't I don't think so. I mean it might it might come up to 40 damage if we upgrade it, but I still don't think it's significantly better than the noble sword. So yeah, we're just going to stop. So well, look at that, 120 um, thingies, though. That's good. That's really good. 
All right, anything in here? Not that I can tell. So the caravan thingamadoodle. There's a sword buried there. Does that mean that there's something underneath it? Doesn't appear to be. Do we even have anything about this caravan? Doesn't look like it. Obtain castle wall stone block. Oh, nice. Go to the mining rift to find new building material there. You'll unlock more blocks for your base. Um, How far away is that? It's... Where are we at? That's way up that way. Okay, we'll have to do that later when we get into the area to do the black cauldron. But guys, um, we're going to go ahead and have to wrap up the episode here. Um, so... What I think I'll do is what? There's nothing significant there. Just trying to see if there's anything behind those palisades. What I think I'll do is I'll put a I'll put a flame altar maybe somewhere around in here. Um but I'd also like to maybe put one up above, too, so that way we can go to both places. So, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. And then when we start the next episode, we'll pretty much pick up right where we left off here and um, start doing some questing here in the Pillars of Creation. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.